everybody, it's Rose. And today I'm here with three more diamond paintings from FG Normal. Uh, so let's start with number 532. And we'll take a look at what my viewer asked me to try for her. Okay, so this one is a diamond painting that was uh, sent to me as a rose tries by my viewer Crystal Diamanda. And many of you um, who watch my channel know that I uh, have opened a few uh, diamond paintings that she sent me for review to review. Not that she sent me, but that she asked me to order to review for her. Uh, so, um, so this is uh, another one of those. And uh, before we get into looking at the diamond painting, we have two kits here. Uh, one has one bag and the other one has two bags. And then the pen and the drill boat and the wax, which is all fine. Okay, uh, and this one is a big one. Uh, it's a 45 by 85 canvas. So for that, I'm going to have to raise you way, way up. Okay, so this is one that I call flowers and fishes. So this one is very much of, a, of the same theme as one that I opened in my video yesterday, which was also a Crystal Diamanda request. And um, this one here has a lot more color to it. This one has 32 colors, which is quite a few for uh, a special shape diamond painting, round diamond painting mix. And that's what this is. It's a mix of round and special shape. Um, I think those 32 colors are going to make this actually look amazing. And I got to tell you, the size of it, I think is pretty much perfect. Uh, I'm looking at it with my eyes right now, and it looks great. And looking at it through the camera, it also looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm liking what I see here. And it came through uh, shipping, as you see, very, very well. I haven't done anything to it apart from just flatten it out. And yeah, it looks really, really good. Um, so let's first measure it. And I'm just measuring the image area because I know some of you like to frame your diamond paintings. So this one is just shy of 40 centimeters. It's over 39 and a half centimeters from side to side. And I would expect that it will be, oh, it's 78 centimeters up and down. I don't know if you can find a standard frame that size, but, um, but I'm sure you'll be able to come up with something interesting. Or you could mount this on a stretched canvas, and I think it would look nice. Um, I think it would look very nice mounted on a stretched canvas. Yeah, okay, so. Now I'm going to bring you down so that we can look at the legend and look at the drill area on this diamond painting before we actually take a look at the drills. Okay, so here we have all our symbols and so far they all look very very simple and clear numbers and letters and now we're getting into some symbols this one here is two little diamonds and i'm able to tell you that because even though it doesn't show up very well on the canvas or on the legend it shows up very clearly on the canvas because uh, i can see some of those uh, from where I'm sitting right now. Yeah, this is uh, this is very clear. Okay, uh, so let's now take a look at the canvas and see how that all comes together at 1x size. Look how clear this is. Really, really clear. And I don't see anything that would make me want to use a light pad on this. And you see there's that, that double triangle uh, symbol that, uh, that looked um, 
a little hard to read on the legend. It's so legible on the canvas itself, which is great. This is so clear. And there's only one kind of arrow, so we don't have to be worried. If you work sometimes upside down or you know flip your diamond painting around, you don't have to be worried about the orientation of your arrows. Yeah, this is great. So these are the bottom flowers. And then look at the fish. I mean, those fish have quite a few colors on them. Even though they're so little, they all have quite a few colors on them, which makes them look really good from a distance. And then we'll zoom in on the urn, or the vase rather. And here we have some special drills. So it's a mix of mostly round drills with a few embellishments with the special drills. And I don't see DMC numbers on uh, either the canvas or the bag for these, so or the bags for these. So uh, whatever you do with your spare drills, you'll either have to color match them uh, to a DMC chart or organize them by color or just throw them into a box or whatever it is that you do. Um, but you won't be able to organize them with by DMC number without doing a little bit of work. Yeah, this is uh, this is super, super clear. I think it's going to look really nice. And then again, look at these flowers. I mean, as we zoom out, they look absolutely beautiful. Now, I used to not like partial diamond paintings, but this one here, it's got a lot of area to cover. And I think those special shaped embellishments are going to make a big difference in terms of the aesthetic of this finished product. I think it's going to look really, really nice. And I don't think we've seen any green. And yet, we don't really miss it. Look at that. Yeah, that's really nice. Very, oh yeah, okay, there's a little bit of green down at the bottom. Very, very nice. Okay, um, so now we're gonna take a look at the drills. Okay, so just before um, I restarted the camera, I did check to make sure that we have all the bags we need, and we do. So uh, while we take a look at these drills, and I will ring a bell and just flash up a few words to tell you what to look for if I see anything wrong uh, in editing that I don't catch while we're looking at them right now, um, I'm going to flash up on the screen the information about the Rose Tries program so that if there's a canvas that you're interested in uh, that you want me to unbox for you, uh, you can send me that request. Okay, so um, so yeah, the Rose Tries program, you send me a request at ramblingrosedp at gmail.com, put Rose Tries in the subject line, and then in the body of the message, uh, tell me the, well, give me the, give me the link to a diamond painting that you would like to see me unbox or unbag. A diamond painting or um, a diamond painting item, so like a, an LED lamp or something like that, a keychain, whatever. Um, and just tell me why you want me to do it. Uh, and these, like what I'm, I'm looking for are items that you really are interested in buying, but there's something that you're not sure about. And so you want me to test it for you, okay? Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking for. So tell me what it is that you're, that you're looking for me to test. So let's use the keychain example. Uh, let's say you're interested in ordering a keychain or a bookmark or something like that. Uh, but you're not sure how well it'll hold up to being used, uh, over time. Well, that's the kind of thing that, um, that I can address in my video review as to the extent that I can. Or if it's a diamond painting, you might not be sure 
if it is um, round or square drills, or in the case of this diamond painting, I'm pretty sure it was advertised just as a special shaped diamond painting. It didn't talk about the regular drills, which is, I'd say like 99% of the drills are regular drills. And um, sometimes they don't indicate whether they're round or square. Sometimes they don't, um, sometimes it's a case of you're not sure if the diamond painting will render well in the size that they offer it. Sometimes you'll see a, an image, well, I, I see these all the time, just beautiful, beautiful images, uh, but they're only offered in a size 30 by 30 or something like that, which means actually like 24 or 24 or 25 by 24 or 25. And, um, you know, if it's a detailed image with a lot of stuff going on in it, that's probably not going to render well. So, um, so yeah, tell me what it is that you're looking for, uh, for me to review, like why you want me to review the item as well as the link to the item. I need to have the link to the item. And, uh, and then I'll take a look and chances are I will order it for you. Now, there are times when I've received a request, uh, and a recent one was, you know, I think this will come out too pixelated. And as soon as I looked at it, I knew that my viewer was 100% right. It would come out too pixelated. There was no way that something that had that many different characters in it and that much uh, stuff going on in the background was ever going to look good in a 30 by 30 canvas. There was just no way. So, I mean, for something like that, it's really not going to do either of us any good for me to order it and just confirm when we both know that it's not going to work out. Um, but I recently, well, just yesterday, I opened the heart quilt for uh, the same same viewer, Crystal Diamanda, uh, who requested this. And she and I both thought, eh, it might not come out too well. But it turned out to be absolutely beautiful. So, you know, I had my doubts before I ordered it, but it turned out to be absolutely stunning. So, so those are the ones that I like to do. So we just have these two kinds of special drills. Uh, the dark blue and the pearlescent white. Um, so not a lot of them, but I think they're going to just uh, make this look very, very pleasing. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out again. And okay, so now I'm going to put the drills away and we are going to try the next one. But I'm very, very happy with this diamond painting. I think it turned out absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think that um, the size is perfect for it. And I think it's going to look really good when it's done. It's a very, very, very pretty diamond painting. Yeah. All right, everybody. So let's finish off number 532. Uh, the flowers and fishes and vase, actually. I just didn't write that on there. And let's move on to the next diamond painting in today's video. So this one here is one that I ordered. It was something that um, I thought of because my friend Margaret gave me something one year for Christmas or my birthday. I can't remember now. Um, and it was just a lovely a lovely piece to hang on the wall it was a, a ceramic painting like a painting on ceramic and that had been um, fired in the whole bit and it was I'd never seen anything like it and it was just lovely and I know I have it somewhere in the house I just haven't put it up yet and uh, I had it up in my old house I just I don't have it up now anyway when I saw this I thought oh that reminds me of the little chickadee that Margaret gave me. So I'm just going to flatten this out a little bit uh, because it has a few little mailing curls to it. And this will flatten out nicely. Okay, there we go. Look at that. And I'm just going to um, also flatten out the cover plastic 
Uh, I don't have to, but I just like to do that. I didn't do that on the last diamond painting because it absolutely didn't need it. Like it came through shipping in absolutely perfect condition. This one here, uh, it curled a little bit. So just pulling back the plastic and flattening it uh, will help. So I'll just get my trusty bone folder and there we go. Okay, so I thought this was really cute. Very simple, very small, and just a little project that I thought would be pretty. Um, and I don't know, I like, I like birds. Uh, I don't have a lot of birds, except for peacocks. I have a lot of peacocks. Um, but I saw this and I thought, oh yeah, I gotta get this one. It's just so cute, look at that. So I was worried that it would come out a little bit pixelated. It's a little bit pixelated, but not very much. And through the camera, yeah, through the camera, it looks good. It actually looks very much like what I'm seeing with my eyes. Uh, often the camera makes things look a lot better. This, this time the camera doesn't really make it look a lot better. Uh, so what you're seeing through the camera is very, very true to what I'm seeing without the camera. All right. So uh, the chickadee is advertised as 30 by 30, and I'm expecting it to be about 24, I think, by 24. Let's see. No, it's 25. It's 24 and a half. So we're going to call it 25 and it's 25 up and down. Yeah. So this one has 26 colors, which is pretty impressive for a tiny little piece this size. And it is because it has that many colors that it looks as good as it does. That 26 colors just gives it more definition than it would have if it was, let's say, you know, 17 or 19 or 21 colors or something like that. Uh, so that's good. And it, uh, yeah, like there, it gives you some subtlety in the shading around, you know, the outline of the bird and stuff like that, that, um, that would be missing and that would be a, a sad loss if, if we didn't have that color. So let's see, we got a single placer wax and a boat. No baggies with this one. Let's take a look at the legend. And this one has legends on both corners. We'll take a look at this. It also has DMC numbers, which I'm always happy about. And look at that legend. It's very, very clear, simple, nothing that's confusing. Uh, let's look at the drill area now. And it's as clear as clear can be. This is really, really nice. And because there's not a lot of dark on this canvas, uh, I don't need to use a light pad at all. This is lovely. And I'm very, very happy. I haven't had a single diamond painting yet uh, from FG Normal that had drill circles, like, um, guide circles for uh, placing drills. And I'm very glad of that because I hate those guide circles. So if you also hate guide circles, uh, sometimes with the AliExpress stores, you just never know whether you're gonna get guide circles or not. And for me, guide circles ruins a diamond painting. Um, so I'm very happy to know that I have places where I can go where I will never see a guide circle. So yeah, this is lovely. Look at that, the bird looks fantastic. Just beautiful. Yeah, I really, really like it. Okay, I'm gonna put you back in the cradle and we are going to look at drills now. Okay, so the first thing I see as I look at these drills is that it is in the blue stripe packaging and there are DMC numbers on the bags. Uh, this blue stripe packaging is generally a hallmark of very good quality drills. So I am hoping that that's what we're gonna find today. 
So let's take a look at these and I will talk a little bit about the ugly diamond painting series that I want to start. So uh, we've all seen them. We go to a website and we're looking at their drill at their diamond paintings and we're looking for the one that oh my goodness it just it makes our hearts sing and it sparks joy and it just makes us so happy and it's like I have to have that and so often on our way to finding that we come across something that is just so bad so ugly <laughs> so uh, just horrible in so many ways and so um you know usually we just sort of pass it by because there are so so many that we would prefer to be looking at but as i learned from a viewer who shared uh, one of those really horrible diamond paintings that she found with me she sent me an email that had it um i i laughed it just made me laugh so much when she sent me one of these terrible horrible ugly diamond paintings that she found on uh, a website that she was that she was window shopping in and so i thought okay i got a great laugh from this and so i want to share that with my viewers so what the ugly diamond painting series is is you send me to the address on your screen ramblingrosedp at gmail.com uh, a link or you can just send me a screenshot or you can take take a photograph if it's something you have in your own stash uh, anyway send me an image of a really ugly diamond painting and so I'm going to uh, start that off here today with uh, a diamond painting that I actually have in my stash. It was one of the Peggy by Hall diamond paintings. And um, it is, well, I bought a few in that Peggy by Hall because that was the rules. Um, I bought a few that were just, oh, god awful ugly. And uh, so here's one that to me, is absolutely an ugly diamond painting. Yeah, that's bad, isn't it? And I have so many others. Now, ugly diamond paintings can also be diamond paintings that um, you think, like the image is actually lovely when you see the image on the website, it's so nice. But then you get it, you work it up, and it turns into a monstrosity like this one that I did. Yeah, so um, I think our, our pain and disappointment and disgust, let's face it, I think they can be um, lessened by sharing our diamond painting, uh, our ugly diamond paintings with each other. So whether it's something that you see on a website or whether it's something that you've got sitting in your stash or that you you know, finished and it turned out just horrendous, uh, send me an email and I will add it to an upcoming video as one of the Ugly DP series of, of little vignettes in my videos. Don't be shy now. So that's it for the chickadee. I liked it. The drills looked good. I didn't see anything. Okay, so let's uh, open the last diamond painting for today. And this is, and let's open it here. There we go. And this one here, when I saw it, I just loved it. This is just another one that Rose wants. And it is, oh, let's show you the kit. A uh, standard kit with, it looks like, two baggies. I'll take two baggies. And this, the canvas is very, very stiff, but look how perfect it is. It's got a few little nail increases in it, but apart from that, this is an absolutely perfect canvas. 
and I love it. All right, so there we go. And now I'm gonna flatten it out. And this is what I call Lotus number three. So I have been, lately I've been uh, buying a lot of, or lately I've been ordering a lot of Lotus themed diamond paintings. Um, I just, I find lotuses beautiful. And so I've been buying a bunch of them. And this one kind of reminds me of a stained glass lotus, but it's not. I just, I just loved it when I saw this. I just, I had to have it. All right, so there we go. I think this is absolutely beautiful. It's the water lily sort of both from above and below the water. I think it's beautiful. And I thought it would render really, really well in this size. And I was not wrong. So this is advertised as 30 by 40. Uh, and that's the canvas area. And I noticed that now some of the diamond painting companies are including both the canvas size and well, as well as the drill area. And so this is 24 by 34 drill area. Okay, so this is absolutely beautiful, I think. It has 20 colors, and we're going to take a look at the legend for this right now. So, oh, I'm, I'm happy to see it also has DMC numbers. So that looks pretty clear to me. Now it's got the percent sign, which I don't like seeing the percent sign, just because I don't think it renders very well on most diamond paintings. Sometimes it doesn't matter as long as there's nothing else on the canvas that it could be confused with, but I just wish they wouldn't use percent signs. Other than that, I think it's okay. Um, we have the and sign. We don't have any S's or anything, so that's all right. Uh, I think it's okay. All right, let's take a look at the canvas. And for this, I am going to blow you up. So this canvas is um, it's pretty clear. It's pretty clear, yeah. Uh, those bees don't, like they're not as crisp as I would like, but there's nothing else that they could be confused with. I think we'll take a look a little bit more. Oh, actually, the the ampersands uh, they show up pretty well on the canvas, surprisingly well. So I was afraid that the B's might be confused with K's, but they're not going to be confused with K's. So that's all right, and I don't see anything else. See that O? That's really not very clear. I think it's an O. Yeah, it's an O. It's not very clear, but there's nothing that it can really be confused with. Uh, I'm just checking to see if there's a C. There's a C, but it's it's pink. So, because I was thinking, oh, there's a C, but it's not. That's an O. So, um, as long as you keep in mind that the C's are red or pink, then you're not going to have a problem with this. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. See here, that percent sign really not showing up well at all. That's weird because I'm almost certain that it looked good down below. Oh no, it was the ampersand that looked good. Yeah, the percent sign, I don't love it. But there's nothing it can be confused with. So that's not, it's not going to cause a problem doing the diamond painting. And then there's that C that I was talking about. You're never going to confuse that C with the O. There's just no way you're going to ever confuse the two. So, lots of color blocking up near the top. That's okay. That'll make the diamond painting go that much faster. No, I like it. I like it. I mean, I have, uh, I would have had preference for a slightly different um, 
symbols for some of the colors, but all in all, I think it looks fantastic. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. So let's see what the drills look like. Okay, so here's number 20. So we do have 20 colors and uh, there's no DMC numbers on the bags, but that's okay because they do have DMC numbers on the canvas. So that's all good. And let's take a quick look at these. I mean, these colors are just stunning. They're so beautiful. And this diamond painting will go really, really fast because it's round drills and there is that bunch of color blocking up near the top. So um, I just find that diamond paintings that have a lot of color blocking, they just go so, so fast. And if you, you know, if you don't mind just working on the same color for an hour or two, then who cares if there's color blocking? I keep the TV on or a podcast or whatever, and and I am uh, entertained throughout, not really even paying attention. That's the other thing. You can completely zone out while you're diamond painting a color blocked area because you really don't, you just get in the groove of, you know, picking up and placing drills. And you don't really have to think about it because you're you're just placing drills because you're not having to change colors or anything like that. So yeah, no, I really like it. I really like it. Very good. Very good. Yeah, no, these drills are all but perfect. Now maybe I'll have seen something in editing by the time you see this, and if so, I'll have rung a bell, but no, the bills look amazing. All right, so that is it for today's diamond paintings. Uh, so we saw the, the flowers, the fishes, and the vase first. That was the great big one that was round with a few special shapes. And then we saw the little chickadee. And then we saw lotus number three from FG Normal. They're all, I think, good buys. Um, and so, yeah, I would say based on the unbagging review that I could recommend these. So that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank FG Normal for sending me these three gorgeous kits um, and the others that were in this order because th this was a this was a fairly large order and um, and so I have some more FG Normal items that are going to be coming in or I can't remember if I've received them already so you're going to be seeing another FG Normal video in the next few days um, but I just I just love what we saw today I would I'm happy with all of it and I look forward to working on all of these diamond paintings and of course I will come back and show you um, what they look like when they're done when the penny's been picked for them or the quarter in the case of the uh, of the big one um, so that's that's all for today I want to thank all of my patrons who support my channel through their generous contributions. And I want to thank all of my viewers and subscribers. If you're not a subscriber yet, why don't you become one right now by clicking on the subscribe button and you can click for notifications so that you will be notified every time I publish a new video. So that's it for today, everyone. Thank you. Come back visit with me again tomorrow. I love you all. Bye-bye.